It's Phil and Rosalie Furler from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Hey, welcome today to Church on the Beach. We're so glad that you could join us. We're beginning a new series, and it's called A Passion for the Truth. A Passion for the Truth. What is truth? It was the question the Roman governor, Pontius Pilate, asked Jesus, What is truth? Let me pick up a little of the background of this story found in John chapter 18 and from verse 33. Then Pilate went back into his headquarters and called for Jesus to be brought to him. Are you king of the Jews? he asked him. Jesus replied, Is this your own question? Or did others tell you about me? Am I a Jew? Pilate retorted. Your own people and their leading priests brought you to me for trial. Why? What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not an earthly kingdom. If it were, my followers would fight to keep me from being handed over to the Jewish leaders. My kingdom is not of this world. Pilate said, So you are a king? Jesus responded, You say I am a king. Actually, I was born and came into this world to testify to the truth. All who love the truth recognize that what I'm saying is true. Pilate responded by saying, What is truth? You may be today asking the same question, what is truth? Then Pilate again went out to the people and said, I find no fault in this man. It was the time of the Jewish Passover and Jesus, the perfect Lamb of God, stood before the people before the crucifixion. It was John the Baptist when he saw Jesus said, behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the people. And when Jesus died on the cross, he cried out, It is finished. And now the salvation of God is completed in his Son, Jesus Christ. And now we can all have access into the presence of a holy God through faith in him. That is truth. Let God be true and every man a liar. Jesus said in John 14 verse 6, I am the way, the truth, the life, and no man comes to the Father except by me. The sunrise, the scenery is so beautiful today, trust you're really enjoying it. My dear friends, I believe that we're living in times when there is so much deception going on, we need to have a love for the truth. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24 when he begins to unfold the future of the world, he emphasizes the fact and says, don't let anyone deceive you, for there would be many false prophets, many say that they are the Messiah. So let's not be fooled and deceived by false teachers that come along and whisper in the people's ears. So the people are led astray by lies. In John chapter 8, verse 31 and 2, Jesus said to the people who believed in him, You are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings. And you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Let me say it again in another way. If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That is, to have freedom in the reality of walking with God. Stay with us. I really want to continue on with this theme 
and so that we all may have a fresh passion for truth. We really appreciate you all and thank you for sharing this with your friends. Have a wonderful week and the Lord be with you.